up guys taking a walk through my neighborhood you know i wanted to make this quick quick little video you know checking in and i just want to talk about how you need to be an introvert and an extrovert yes you need to be an introvert and extrovert so what does that mean well okay first you need to be an introvert while you're young so how to be an introvert when you're young stay quiet don't tell people anything don't tell people what you're doing don't tell people how you're moving don't tell people anything so for example martin luther king jr how do you think he became an influential figure the reason martin luther king jr became an influential figure is because as a child he didn't say anything he did not voice his opinion for anything so when he didn't voice his opinion he basically had a plan before he had a plan before and and said i'm gonna change the world when i got when i get older if he was to voice his opinion when he was young he'd probably either get hanged or he'd probably get thrown in jail let's be honest so you know what he did he had a plan when he was young he had a plan he was like all right when i'm when i'm older and when i know more i'm gonna execute that plan so that's the reason why Martin luther king jr he didn't have to be president you know he didn't have to be a president because later on he became an extrovert he became an extrovert he actually voiced his opinion more so that's what i'm that's what all i'm saying because you don't really need to be a president we don't need presidents presidents don't hold any power you think that they hold power because you always watch them on tv you know they have all this money they have connections but you have to understand they're regular people like us they're regular people like us anybody can have power bro it's about how you use that power it's about how you use that power so martin luther king jr did not have to be president how do you think he started giving speeches he gave speeches to his local community that's how he started he didn't start giving speeches worldwide just like that no <laughs> no he had to start from square one and then work his way up that's the whole thing that's why i always say when you're young, it's better to be an introvert and actually have a plan and actually know what you're doing. Because when you know what you're doing, then when you come, become older, you can actually execute it better. Because you, you, you hold knowledge and knowledge is not power. The use of knowledge is power. You can have knowledge, but it can just, it can just sit in your brain. You don't have to use that knowledge. So it's just basically a waste of knowledge because you're not applying that knowledge. See, that's why I always tell people, the use of knowledge is power. See, all these presidents that we've had, all these presidents that we've had, we saw them on TV. We actually never met them in real life, bro. You think that they're doing these big things. You really think that they're actually doing these big things, but it's actually people higher than them that are actually doing it. These people are fake posers. They go on national television and smile. All they do is smile. They just smile like that. They love smiling while under that smile they're creating a devious plan a devious plan to control all our minds see when they get you in here they can control everything you do they can control your emotions they can control your thoughts that's why i always say don't watch the news because when you watch the news you don't know what to think whatever they say you'll believe whatever they whatever they say you'll do because they want you to become a puppet but you have to be your own master you got to master your mind you got to detach from television television is fake television is dying bro this is the new age people have evolved way past television see in a few years what's going to happen television will be a thing of the past and then they're going to find new ways to spread their agendas they're gonna come up with new ways to pass on that information to us whether it be by the internet the internet is gonna be, become a big thing so that's what they're gonna do they're gonna start having the news channels go through the internet streams and people are gonna watch that it never stops they always find a way they plan everything beforehand Detached from everything. Only know what you want to do. Only know what you want to believe in. If you want to believe 
that birds or, or, or what puppets can fly then birds and puppets can fly if you believe a car can fly a car can fly bro it doesn't matter you can be the next person to make cars fly you can have an invention that makes cars fly it doesn't matter bro you just got to come up with that plan and execute it well and I think recently I heard about this kid this kid that graduated you know he got his bachelor's degree in genetics and this dude is only 11 years old this dude's only 11 years old and he says he wants to make humans immortal and when I was reading that I wasn't surprised honestly I was surprised that he wanted to make humans immortal things are getting a lot crazier things are getting a lot crazier bro you have to believe bro believe the future is now the future is happening now they're little kids 11 year old kids when i was 11 i wasn't doing anything when i was 11 dude i was outside i was literally outside i was watching nickelodeon <laughs> i was watching nickelodeon i was literally watching nickelodeon when i was 11 and these dudes already got their bachelor degrees i'm telling you you gotta evolve your mind you gotta detach from everything that doesn't matter it's like people can't go a day without checking their instagram feed or checking their twitter feed bro that's a problem that's a problem and i'm just out here i'm detaching from everything I don't even watch YouTube. I literally just upload my videos. I upload my videos and then I just post it and I log off. That's all I do. Because I know what this YouTube stuff does. You can't let this control your emotion. You can't let this control anything. You got to be your own master. Master this, you master everything. They can't get you. If you master this, they can't get you. See, back then, they mastered us physically. Physically, they had us in slaves. They had us as slaves. But now, they don't even have to physically get you. They get you with this. Mind control. And dude, if it wasn't for Martin Luther King becoming an a introvert to an extrovert, I wouldn't even be speaking right now, honestly. I wouldn't even be speaking. I'd still be in chains. I'd be in someone someone's plantation farm literally be on someone's plantation farm slaving to the white man i wouldn't be here right now bro you guys understand my control is going to be a a big thing in the future you just got to stay ready